and welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where I sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zion here, filming in the rain. Rare rain film day for some reason. The rain has uh, decided to bestow itself upon us here in California. Very rare, but gonna enjoy it while I can. It is a little annoying though because I do like going for runs, I do cardio to work out and it basically screws that, but you know what? Every once in a while, it's okay. Today, uh, we are gonna be re-reviewing a, uh, a more epic version of an item that came out, apparently it was 2016? I don't remember it being that far back, uh, but that's what uh, Delish.com uh, article is saying, that it, this was released in 2016. This is the Quesa Lupa, and uh, I, don't, I, I don't remember anything about this. I'm sure it was good because this is the one that has the, uh, the cheese in the shell, essentially. Uh, this time though, they have added 50% more cheese into the shell. So that should, hey, hopefully, hopefully that makes up for it. Uh, and hopefully this is awesome. Hey, before we get into the review though, give us a following on Patreon, back us on there. Uh, $2 a month tier to get access to videos early as well as all the deleted content that was too hot for YouTube uh, and just other categories, other tiers and other rewards and whatnot. So check it out, back us on there and boom shakalaka. And here is the, uh, the description off of Delish. Uh, the dream dish is made with a chalupa shell, which is then stuffed with a blend of melted pepper jack cheese, mozzarella cheeses, or and mozzarella cheeses. It's important that you know that that's not some weird hybrid combination of a new cheese, although I would try it. This time there is 50% more cheese in there. The shell is then stuffed with all the fixin' like seasoned beef, lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese, diced tomatoes, reduced fat sour cream. Uh, I had them take out the lettuce and tomato. If you want a more proper review of this item, go check out Peep This Out, because Peep This Out totally did it. I'm opening it the bag like this too. I'm a disaster. I'm a, I'm a horrible, horrible disaster. Um, I got the chicken variant. I guess you can get steak as well. Uh, I am starving. Uh, I just had my uh, annual cancer checkup, did my CT scan, and did my ultrasound. If everything goes well, uh, then I'll be upgraded from every two years to every five years officially for the CT scan. Still, we'll do every yearly, I'll do the ultrasound. But for those who don't know, I had testicular cancer uh, quite some time ago, over eight, nine years ago. And so I'm just saying this uh, out loud for you guys. Hey, make sure to check your uh, your little dudes down there, all right? And for the ladies, you know, play with those jubblies. Maybe let somebody watch you do that because boobs are awesome. This is, oh, this looks awesome. Wow, even without like, because usually when I have them take off, you know, the lettuce, from an item, it doesn't look as impressive. Oh my God, this thing looks amazing. Wow, like it is, and they stacked it too. There's so much stuff in here. Whoa, Taco Bell, you did a great job here. This looks amazing. Like I, I was gonna uh, like review this and then go get like actual breakfast. I, this is my breakfast now, cause this thing is a monster. It is so stacked. All right, let's do it. Oh man. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so good. Wow. It is a greasy death, but it is a good greasy death. I almost got the um, the steak version as well. Cause I was like, oh, I'll review them both. That would have been a huge mistake. Haha, <laughs> mistake. Oh my God, that's good. Only complaint so far, I'm gonna take another bite obviously. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. The only complaint I have is it is greasy as hell. Like you can taste the grease just dripping from the shell itself, that's okay. Everything else inside there, the chicken's great, the cheese is abundant, the sour cream melds really well, and I love the texture of the shell. So good. I honestly do not remember my reaction at all from the previous review of this, and I'm not gonna bother going back and looking at it. I'm sure I liked it, but I bet I didn't like it as much as I love this. This, this might be other than the Quesarito, the Sriracha one, this might be like the best item they have ever put out. Putting more cheese in it, oh, perfect choice. Look at how much cheese is in there. That's absurd. I will say chicken can be done a little better, but you know, obviously that's gonna depend on the location. Maybe, um, like I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow and just get the steak version on my own time, but wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is awesome. I have no complaints that would be serious enough to not give this, like I gotta give this a seal of approval. This is five out of five seal of approval. 
this is incredible. It tastes so good. And again, minor complaints, a little greasy. Chicken could have been done better, but like, none of these are things that are gonna stop me from coming back and getting this bad boy, you know, until obviously it goes away. But wow, I can see why they brought it back. So tasty. Now, just bring back, I think it wasn't sriracha, it was ghost pepper, wasn't it? Bring back the ghost pepper quesarito and the grilled cheese burrito, and we will have no more problems. I mean, they are about to bring back their potatoes in their menu anyway. I was thinking about doing a all potato item challenge for the uh, the channel. So Taco Bell's stepping it back up. Welcome back to the king of fast food, in my opinion, uh, because I'm not a big burger guy, so obviously that disqualifies quite a bit of uh, locations. But definitely check this out. This is awesome. And if you have had it, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, give us a follow on all social medias. Also, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, a lot of you aren't. Uh, I think it's about 42% of people in our analytics showed that are not subscribed that watch our videos. Give us a sub. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for reviews. Uh, and then I am here Tuesday through Saturday doing live streams of gaming goodness. So always uh, active on the channel and uh, just appreciate, appre appreciate, yeah, that's probably a word. Appreciate your support. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm gonna eat the rest of us like a fat fuck while I listen to the Mr. Sunday Movies podcast, The Weekly Planet, and uh, I'll check you guys back later. Bye. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Rep This Evening Shorts, aka We Shorts, Matt Zine, along with Majestic Beard and Chuck Rowland. We're doing another sponsored review from Mags. Thank you so much to her for making this happen. Uh, we're doing something really interestingly weird. I got this at a Korean market. Uh, actually, I think it's a Japanese market. I always said it was Korean. I'm pretty sure it's Japanese and I'm just ignorant as fuck. Mm -hmm. This is uh, from Calbi. Uh, and basically, um, this is lobster flavored Cheetos. I mean, like, like to just kind of make it whatever. But it's technically Calbee Grill a Corn Lobster in Supreme Soup flavored. You know, I'm having a well, the soup I'm makes having, all a, the I'm having a, a Mandela moment. Mandela effect moment. Are you? I thought because you were holding it, I thought that said cheese. I didn't know that said Calbee on it's it. It's not a Mandela. Mandela effect is when you think of something from back in the day that like you thought was. Yeah. Or like that I grew up thinking that we had 52 states in this country. Really? For a lot. And, and at first, I, when I got corrected, I was like, oh, I'm so dumb. 51. No, 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 50. 50. Yeah. So, but then I looked online and it is a, it's one of the most popular ones out there. Berenstein, Berenstein versus Bears, Bernstein, Bernstein Bears, Bears, Bernstein. whatever the fuck it is. But like, that is, that is a thing that a, yeah. it's a, it's a common effect that a lot yeah, of people Yeah, the one have. I saw, like the one I saw recently was Flintstones. It was yeah. Flint yeah. stones. I thought it was Flintstones. But that, so yeah, so I looked it up and I was like, it's pretty common that a lot of people actually thought that we had 52 states. That just, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what it was. So basically, these are these are um, lobster flavored Cheetos. That's what that's what I'm gonna label it. So that smells awful. It smells like cat food. I feel like Ziggler would like this. Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll find out. Oh. I mean, no, it's not. It's not okay. as bad as it smells. No, it doesn't taste no. nearly as bad as it smells. It is a weird fishy taste, though. So. Oh. It's uh, crab legs. <laughs> crab legs. Cheap ass crab legs from like yeah. like Costco. From yeah. like the cheapest uh, buffet. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, that's that's yeah. The, it gets worse as it goes along. I don't. I just don't understand. I guess. Yeah, that's that, that's gross. Well, I did buy it in a you know a Japanese market. See, I like seafood, but this was, uh, this was kind of rancid. This is like drunk food for me. Yeah. This is a, it's a two. That's like a high one. Yeah, I'm gonna go really, bad. really, really low too because it it's like I'm wasted. And I, I, I can't, I can't do anything. I don't have bread that I can put some like weird candy on, or <laughs> open up my freezer and like, hey, can I cook this uh, piece of whatever this questionable thing is that was tucked in the corner? I would do it, uh, you know, yeah. to, in all odds. But no, why would you do that? I'll just eat saltine crackers. They're way better. They Chuck, are. tell them about the first time that you pissed off a black guy. I don't think I've ever pissed off a black guy. That was the right answer. Thank you for watching. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. And hey, don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant fucks. It doesn't solve anything. The moment that you become an ignorant fuck, you're an ignorant fuck. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.